Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. In this video, it's a short demonstration of the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit uh, used on a Land Rover. It's a 2007 Land Rover Discovery 3 with a few faults on the dashboard here, as you can see. If you are interested in this tool, make sure you use the links in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones on the market, and they can damage your vehicle. So if you want to make sure you're getting the, the genuine and official tool, please do make sure you're using the links in the description below this video. So we have this tool plugged into the dashboard. We've got a few basic faults on this vehicle. Uh, and what I'll, what I'll do is I'll use this tool to show you how to diagnose these faults and reset these faults. So first of all, we'll take a look at the check engine light. It's a pretty common warning light uh, on any vehicle, let alone a Land Rover vehicle. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into the diagnostics menu here. We have this plugged into the dashboard and select the Land Rover option, obviously, uh, it does cover a whole range of other makes and models as well as a few pages of manufacturers but we're just interested in Land Rover right now. I'm going to select Land Rover. Then we're going to select our Discovery, so it's a 2007 Discovery 3, so it falls under the 2005 to 2009 option. Diesel V6, I'm going to manually select which system we're going to diagnose. So it's going to be the diesel V6 engine that we're going to diagnose. Might be different in yours. Um, so we're going to go to read fault code. And it's giving us a fault code here. So this is where the fault code is displayed. And this is where the description of the fault is displayed. This option here is one of three. So that's telling us there is one fault of three shown on screen. So we can scroll along to see the other faults as well. Uh, mainly though, uh, they'll probably all relate to the same thing if indeed it is just one fault which has is, is freshly come onto your vehicle. Um, but if you're not entirely sure what these warning lights, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the description and the fault code means, just pop the information into a Google search engine and it will tell you. If you're having this fault, I can guarantee that other people will also have had this fault as well. Um, so in this case though, we need to put a new, we needed to put a new MAF sensor in, a mass airflow sensor which has been done. And what we're going to do is click on clear fault memory. When I click O2, uh, F2 to this, we're just going to keep an eye on the check engine light. And that has turned off the check engine light. Okay, and it's the same process for the other systems as well, really. Uh, if we go to the SRS system, that's the airbag system. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the seat belt on here because that's what's causing the seat belt warning light. So that just gets rid of that warning light. So we'll click into the SRS system, that's the airbag system. Again, read fault code. What we've done uh, for this particular fault is we just unclip the connection, connection underneath the passenger seat. So that's what's triggered this airbag light. So we've, we've, all, we've triggered this ourselves. Uh, we've popped everything back together, but it's just a simulation to show you how it works and what the fault codes might be for that. And again, though, the process is the same. Click on clear fault memory. Click F2, and we're going to see the airbag light turn off after a few seconds. There we go, and we've got a raise operation done on screen. So the last one is the ABS system. We've got three Amigos, as they're known, uh, ABS, brake, and the traction control, just a little bit further down here. Uh, if we click into the read fault code option, it's telling us there's one fault, which is the right wheel speed sensor circuit. Put a new ABS sensor in there. So what we can do here is clear fault memory, click F2. Now this system is going to be a little bit different because one, once you clear the faults in the ABS system, they don't necessarily turn off straight away. So what you can do is come out of it. Um, what you'll need to do is just basically do a reset of the ignition or turn the engine off if it's on. So I'm going to turn the engine off here. Then I'm going to turn the engine back on. And you'll see the lights pop up initially and then they'll all turn off because the system has been reset. So that is the iCost of the CR Pro. Now it does cover like a lot of systems, depending on which vehicle you're in. Um, not only does it cover a lot of systems, but it covers a lot of different manufacturers as well. I'm just quickly scrolling through an example of what you can diagnose in this particular vehicle. But if you go through back to the main menu, it's going to give you a huge range of manufacturers that it will cover as well. So it's a, it's a really useful tool to have for anybody who's interested in looking after their own vehicle or vehicles. 
in their friendship circle or family. It does have a few service options as well. Not all of these service options will work on all vehicles. My advice is to send an email to this email address here inquiries at diagnostic-world.com if you are wanting to know if one of these functions works on your vehicle. Include all of your vehicle information and include your VIN number if possible as well because they may well just come back to you and ask for the VIN so it's better to include it in the first place. Alright, um, that's it. Remember guys, just make sure you use the links in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones on the market, they can damage your vehicle. So if you want to make sure you're getting the genuine and official product, make sure you use the links in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.